Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. Today we're taking a look at Siri on iOS 15, which I think is one of the more underrated features and best potential features of this software release. So basically what has happened here is that Siri now has on-device support, meaning that it doesn't need internet access for certain features, but also means that processing doesn't need to rely on a server and any back and forth signal it can be handled on your device to theoretically allow for better performance for pretty much everything that it does especially for things that don't need to rely on your internet access to do so we're going to go through some of the things that you can do without an internet connection and also just test the speed differences between my iphone 12 on ios 14 and my iphone 12 mini on ios 15. first let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things you can do without any internet connection on iOS 15. Of course, these are mostly going to be things that don't require internet access anyway, such as skipping songs, but then certain things such as queuing a song, even if it's downloaded to your library, currently don't work, maybe will in the future, and then things such as checking weather certainly don't work without an internet connection. Okay, so for this test, we're gonna go ahead and put on airplane mode and turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is off. So there's no internet connection here at all. And now we can still use Siri. So I'll say something like, wake me up at 7 a.m. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Stop timer. Open settings. Open reminders. Turn on dark mode. Turn off dark mode. Turn on flashlight. Turn off flashlight. Turn on Bluetooth. Turn off Bluetooth. So you can see that works pretty well, and this is just some of the items on the list right now, and I'm sure it's bound to change in the future with more offline things being added. But now we're going to compare iOS 14 versus iOS 15 with the speed. What time is it? What's the temperature in Rhode Island? What's the Reds record? Open settings. Open settings. When is the MLB All-Star Game? Take me to Harvard. What's the time in Wisconsin? Set a timer for 12 minutes. Stop the timer. Wake me up in an hour. How old is Warren Buffett? Open camera. Open safari. Open maps. Open home. Open calculator. Open calendar. Open YouTube studio. So you can see that opening apps is definitely quicker on iOS 15. And keep in mind, this is a beta, which means it's probably going to get even faster for the final release. This is, this is the developer beta. Certainly some things aren't going to be that much faster, and certainly some things still are going to be glitchy because Siri is not and, well, never has been perfect. But on average, a lot of things are a lot quicker with Siri on iOS 15. So this is a step in the right direction, and I'm sure with future beta updates, this will continue to improve on iOS 15. Let me know your thoughts about Siri. Are you a user of Siri? Will this help you out? Anyway, let me know. Thanks for watching.